The novel, The Pilot's Wife, by Anita Shreve, was initially published in 1998 by Little Brown and gained further recognition when it was selected as Oprah's book club pick in March 1999. Anita Shreve, who passed away in 2018, was also acclaimed for her best-selling work The Weight of Water, which was later adapted into a film starring Sean Penn and Sarah Polly. Shreve's writing delves into profound emotional depth and introspection, particularly exploring the lives of women. The Pilot's Wife is part of Shreve's Fortune's Rocks Quartet, a series of four novels set in Fortune's Rocks, New Hampshire, revolving around a shared location and themes of motherhood, marriage, and social class. In 2002, CBS adapted The Pilot's Wife into a movie featuring Christine Lottie and John Hurd. The story revolves around Catherine Lyons, a teacher residing in Ely, New Hampshire, near Fortune's Rocks. When her husband unexpectedly dies, Catherine uncovers a hidden life he led, leading her to re-evaluate their entire relationship. The narrative unfolds from the moment Catherine receives the news of Jack's death, plunging her into a world of revelations that challenge the foundation of her existence. Determined to find the truth, she embarks on a journey from New Hampshire to London and ultimately to Ireland. As Catherine unravels the secrets surrounding her husband, the story shifts between the present and significant moments from their marriage, providing a deeper understanding of the current events. These flashbacks begin with the day Catherine and Jack first meet, tracing the evolution of their relationship and offering a poignant contrast to the truths Catherine confronts in the present. As she unearths more about Jack's hidden life, past memories take on new significance, resonating with a fresh understanding for Catherine. The narrative takes a turn when Robert Hart, a representative from the pilot's union, arrives unannounced at Catherine's doorstep in the middle of the night, delivering the heartbreaking news of her husband's death in a plane crash while he was serving as a pilot. Robert swiftly steps in to provide support for Catherine, helping her handle the influx of press calls and acting as her advocate with investigators. As they delve deeper into the investigation, the discovery of a bomb on the plane leads investigators to consider the possibility of Jack's suicide attempt, a theory Catherine vehemently rejects. Robert probes into Jack's mental state, prompting Catherine to reflect on their increasingly distant relationship and Jack's gradual withdrawal over the years. She recounts an incident from five years ago when Jack expressed dissatisfaction with his job, but his assignment to a new route from Boston to Heathrow seemed to alleviate his discontent. During the initial days following the tragedy, Catherine stumbles upon enigmatic notes, receipts, and an old list in Jack's belongings. Exhausted and overwhelmed, she lacks the energy to pursue the truth behind these discoveries. Frustration mounts as the investigators question Catherine without disclosing their findings about the crash. However, they do reveal a shocking revelation, Jack's mother, whom Catherine believed to be deceased, is actually alive. This revelation unveils a broader mystery surrounding Jack's personal life that extends beyond the plane crash. Just as the situation begins to settle, Robert returns to Catherine with a startling revelation, Jack had not spent the night in the crew apartment in London on the eve of the crash. His whereabouts remain unknown, but it is confirmed that he made a dinner reservation for two before his departure. The increasing complexity of Jack's mystery prompts Catherine to recall the notes from his pocket and the list from his office. One of the notes bears a London telephone number, which Catherine decides to call. To her surprise, a woman answers the phone. Seeking more information, Catherine requests a list of crew members who flew with Jack from Robert. Through careful examination, she discovers a name on both the list she found in Jack's office and the crew list, Meyer Boland. As Robert describes details he has heard from the flight recording, it becomes evident to both Catherine and him that Jack had been carrying an armed bomb in his bag, further deepening the enigma surrounding his actions. Uncertain about how to process the new information, Catherine resolves to travel to London in search of Meyer Boland. When Wire opens the door in London, she cradles a baby that unmistakably resembles Jack. Catherine discovers that Wire is Jack's second wife, and their marriage took place in the Catholic Church, an aspect of Jack's faith that contradicts Catherine's understanding. Wire and Jack had been together for five years, and their home starkly contrasts with Catherine's. Surprisingly, Wire had been aware of Catherine's existence all along. Overwhelmed, Catherine returns to her hotel and confides in Robert, recounting everything she has learned. The following morning, while having breakfast at the hotel, 
Moira arrives and proceeds to provide the remaining pieces of the puzzle. During her time as a flight attendant, she had been involved in smuggling money from America to Ireland for the Irish Republican Army IRA. When she became pregnant, Jack took over her smuggling route. On the night before the crash, Jack was informed that, for the first time, he would be transporting something from London to America. Unbeknownst to him, an armed bomb had been secretly placed in his bag by a rival organization seeking to discredit the IRA. Tragically, the bomb detonated when Jack's co-pilot opened the bag. Robert inquires about other pilots involved in smuggling, prompting Catherine to realize that he had harbored suspicions about Jack all along. Filled with a newfound determination, Catherine leaves immediately for the airport. She decides to travel to Ireland, to the site of the salvage operation. Arriving there, she boards a boat that takes her to the crash site, where she finally finds solace and releases her pent-up hurt and anger. Months later, while Catherine and Maddie, her and Jack's 15-year-old daughter, are fishing by the ocean near their home, Robert returns. He expresses remorse for keeping secrets from her, and Catherine begins to glimpse the potential for a future filled with love and healing. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.